Do you want to train your new puppy to have perfect recall, to come back to you no matter what's going on? Well, we're going to help you with exactly that in today's video. Welcome back to the Fenrir Canine Training Channel, and on this channel, we help you to become a high-level canine leader that can raise perfect canine companions, and today, we have a treat. My very first canine behaviorist apprentice, Joe, has been out working some amazing recall work with his new Labrador puppy, Riley. While he was out doing some of this more advanced recall as he's building up the steps to getting that perfect recall, he filmed an awesome video that I was dead excited to share with you today. So he's gonna break down three awesome tips on how you need to slowly but surely build up to perfect recall because it doesn't happen overnight so sit back enjoy take it away joe so guys welcome back to another webinar today we are talking all about stepping up your recall with your dog so there's three stages that i would say when you're training your dog with recall the first stage is very very minimal distraction so in your, in your house, uh, if you've got two people, that's really, really helpful. If it's you on your own, that's fine. I'll talk that through as well. But if you've got two people, what you can do is um, one of you is uh, with the dog and then the other one is a like, doesn't have to be a far distance. It can be a little distance. You can be a little distance away and all you need to do is call the dog's name, say, come. So with my dog, it'd be Riley, come. She's now coming over. Good girl, good girl. There she is. We're just out on a walk with her. So you just go, Riley, come. And then she comes and then it's a little treat. Good girl, break. And then once you've done that, you just do that continuously between the two of you. So calling her back and forth. So when we first got Riley, when she was very young, we were doing that between me and my wife. We would just call her back and forth between the two of us. Now, the reason we do that inside is there's very, very little distraction for them. We want them to concentrate solely on coming back. And with recall, it's so important to get that every time. You want it 100%. You don't want it once or twice, or maybe I'll come back to you. You want it 100% because of those disastrous times when a car's coming past and they're off the lead or something, and you can have a really awkward situation and a disastrous situation if they can't come back to you. So with recall, you definitely want it to be 100%. Now, step two of recall is stepping up that distraction level. So what you can do with that is go out into your garden or a well-gated area and then start doing the same thing that you've done inside but outside. So the distraction level's gone up because they're going to have new smells, new sounds, and then you'll be able to do recall in that situation. So same thing between you and a partner or if you're on your own, sorry, I forgot to say if you're on your own, that's fine as well. You just let them have a little gap between you and then you call them back and you make it very, very exciting for them. When the dog comes back to you, you really want to step up that excitement level. It's very, it's, you, you want it to be the best thing ever to happen to them is for them to come back to you. That's what you want because when they're distracted by something else like a squirrel or another dog or another human, you want to be the best thing ever for them. Now, that is step two, so do it in a well-gated area. And number three is doing something like we're doing today. So Riley is 16 weeks old, she's just over there, I don't know whether you can see her. She's 16 weeks old now and we've just started to take her off her long line and doing her free reign like this because she's responding really, really well to recall. So stepping up that distraction again of going into an area where she has free reign really, but we're going to be calling her back and working on that. So. This morning, I just want to give you a bit of a demonstration about that. It's a very cold day today, lots of snow going on. I don't know whether you can see that on the camera, but uh, we're going to be working on that this morning. Um, so we'll give you a little insight to how that works. So uh, I'm now separated, got a good distance between me and Riley. She's uh, just playing with my wife over there. So I'll just turn the camera around and do a recall for you. Riley, come. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. Good girl, yes. Riley, sit. Yes, good girl, good girl. Yes, oh, good girl, good girl. 
So there you go, guys, stepping up that praise. As soon as she's made that decision, I'm coming back to you. That's where we're going to step up that praise and go, yes, good girl, really good work. She's now running back to my wife, which is absolutely fine. Now, what you might have seen there is that I've put in a sit as well when she comes to me. Now, the reason that is, is obviously it's a very exciting thing to come back to someone who's making loads of fuss and going to give you a treat and all those things. But I add in a sit. Now, this is optional, but personally I do it because it steps up that manners that we preach about here at Fenrir. It's stepping up manners because when she comes back to me, I don't want her jumping up and jumping all over me. What I want her to be doing is to be able to sit calmly and then she's going to get everything she ever wants. All she really wants is my attention and my praise um, and probably a treat as well. But to get that, she needs to be well mannered. So let's give that another go and you'll see how it goes. Riley, come. Yes, good girl, good girl. Oh yes, sit. Yes, good girl. Oh, good girl, good girl. Yes, 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 yes. Go on, break, break. So there we go, guys. That's kind of the simple basics of uh, stepping up your recall. Now, if you feel a little bit worried about taking them off the lead, that's absolutely fine as well. You can use a long line with them. We've been using a long line with Riley for a few weeks. Um, she's just been responding really well to it, so I felt very confident to take her off that lead and, and go up to that next level of distraction. So get yourself like a 10 meter, 15, 20 meter long line so that if they do at any point not come back, all you need to do is reel them in um, when you call so that they definitely come back. So there you go guys, some three steps there of stepping up your recall. It's uh, one of the most important things with dog training I find is that you know, this is dogs being dogs. They want to go off lead. They want to enjoy themselves, but also we want them to come back to us because of those dangerous situations. So practice, 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 work with them loads. Remember when they come back to you, make it the best thing ever for them and you will have the perfect recall. So I hope you found them tips helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I cannot wait to see you here on the next episode at Fenrir Canine Training.